Hi everybody, Amanda Wright here and I'm with Robert Estridge and we're talking uh, from the top of the hill above the Casa and as you can see we've selected the sunset. This is the western view and it is truly spectacular. We're standing on the side of the hill here. And Ready to slip down. <laughs> and Robert's going to talk to you about why the Casa is situated where it is and some of the energy. Well, the, it's here for a purpose, and the purpose is that this is a vortex, and that vortex creates enormous energy. Uh, let me just show you this photograph here. Uh, you see, this is a photograph of the casa. At the bottom here is the, the blue of the bottom of the casa, and this is the roof above here. And the whole casa is just enshrouded in a huge blanket of energy. Um, and this is why it's located here, because of this energy. If I can just show you one more. This one here shows the cars are at the bottom and just immense amount of energies above, just, just streaming out of the atmosphere. Uh, there are many more, but those two will ex uh, explain to you or offer an explanation as to why the cars are here. You know, because without the energy, then there is no great healing. And so I understand it's. Uh Quartz crystal, essentially, this area is that that's yeah, significant. Of course, quartz exists everywhere, but because in Brazil there are so much, uh, so many crystals and so much crystal, crystalline soil, and this area here was very dense in crystalline soil until people picked it all up and it used okay. to lie on the top of the ground. Yeah, fantastic. And so, this area, Robert, is uh, predominantly farmland. Yes, it's just all farmland, uh, mostly eucalypts across there and cows over here and um, pastures. Um, and the waterfall is? And the waterfall is right down here behind us. Can you just tell us a little about the waterfall? Sure, yes. the waterfall originates under the casa. I tried once to uh, follow the ravine up, uh, yes. but it gets so dense when you get up maybe a half a kilometre from the casa that it's impenetrable. You can't get through so the, the, the course of the water just disappears in this massively thick undergrowth but they say it comes from under the casa and I once saw a photograph that was taken illegally but unfortunately was deleted by uh, the, the photograph taker and where the waterfall is say a half a meter wide the energy of the waterfall was 10 meters wide it was just a huge torrent of energy coming over there which is why the entity sends people down there. So the entity send people to the uh, sacred waterfall yes. for healing because of the energy that's there. Is that yes, it's, right? a, it's a cleansing waterfall. Years ago when I first came here, uh, the entity would select various people that maybe had attachments or the kumba down on black magic, and he would say to somebody in the casa, you take this person down to the waterfall. Right? We used to go down this way then, it was a different track. And then when people came here, when the West came, everybody became so interested in the waterfall that they'd arrive here, drop their backsack and their luggage and say, where's the waterfall? Right. So then they made it much more accessible and uh, the entity gives permission and on Saturdays and Sundays in particular, there's large lines waiting to use the Waiting water. to go there for a cleansing, an yeah. energy cleansing. And it really does. I mean, if you go down there feeling heavy and depressed, go for the waterfall, you come back feeling it. Revitalise and energise. Mm. Thank you so much for that explanation. You're welcome. Such a beautiful location, and uh, the sun is setting well, as we, we should, speak. We would normally have very brilliant, colourful sunsets, but we don't have one tonight. Sorry for that. <laughs>